Hi, I'm Megan, and let's get started um, right away in the top of our mats in Tadasana. So bring your feet together, big toes to touch, heels close together, maybe not quite touching. Just get settled in to that connection with your feet in the ground, all three corners of each foot, growing roots downward. Just build that connection. And then just scan the body, starting out the feet, up your ankles, your calves, and your shins, the face and your knees. And then engage your quads so that your kneecaps lift. Quads are nice and strong, hamstrings are tight. And then activate your glutes and your tilt your pelvis so your hips are stacked over your heels. You might need to look down and just make sure you're in alignment there. Engage your core, lengthen your spine, roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then down your back, bringing your shoulder blades together and open your palms up in front so they're shining forward. Your shoulders are stacked over your hips and your hips are stacked over your ankles in nice alignment. And then gaze forward, maybe close down your eyes. Just get settled here, notice your breath. Tadasana I feel like is a really exposed pose, but it's so grounding and sometimes my mind wants to get out of it but closing down my eyes and just paying attention to the breath helps me to be present here and calm and grounded in the earth and centered in the heart. A lot of times I get caught up in my mind and I want to get out of a pose. I want to go on to what's next. I want to feel safe, but if I can just feel that ground beneath me, Feel the heart space open, be present here, connect to your breath, really energizing and peaceful place to find. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up overhead, reach up, bring your hands together, and exhale, heart center. One more, inhale, your arms up overhead, Bring your hands to touch, exhale, hands to heart center, pressing your fingertips to fingertips, your thumb against your heart, lift your heart towards your thumb, and set your prayer and intention for your practice today. It's always good to be intentional and prayerful through life, through your practice, it's a good habit, a good thing to do to start off your day, to start off your practice. Inhale, circle sweep your arms up overhead, Urdhva Sasana. You bring your hands together, gentle back bend, gazing up, lift the heart, engage your glutes, just notice the openness in your heart and the front side of the body. Come back to center. Grab on to your right wrist with your left hand and take a side stretch, bumping out your right hip to the right side, opening up the right side body. Keep your shoulders back. You might want to come forward, especially that right shoulder. Keep it back and down. Keep your chin away from your chest. We don't have a mirror out here, so we have to really do good mental body scans. Stay connected to your breath as you start that ujjayi breath, pulling in the belly, breathing in the nose, breathing out the nose. Inhale back to center. Grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand, bending over to the right, bumping out your left hip, opening up the left side body. Chin lifted away from the chest, spine nice and long, core is active. Feet are rooted into your mat. Make sure that left foot is still equally rooted with the right. Opening up the side body, keeping your shoulders back down and relaxed. And 
Connect into your inhales and exhales. Come back to center. Bring your hands to touch. Another gentle back bend. Come to center and forward fold. Just hang there, forward fold. Maybe widen your stance, heel toe your feet out, hip width distance or a little bit more. Let your head be heavy. Just keep your practice simple. Your body's here. Stay and connect it to your breath. It's the simplicity of yoga. Let yourself enjoy this moment. Don't think of what's coming next. But be in this asana, this place right here. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, stacking lumbar spine, thoracic spine, cervical spine, your head last. If your feet have separated, you can bring them back together. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up overhead, and sit back into chair. So sit your hips back and down, weights in your heels. Engaging your glutes, engaging your quads here, lift your heart. Holding here, connecting to your breath, belly's pulled in nice and tight, your shoulders are relaxed. Arms are reaching up, palms facing, and bring your hands together, forward fold over your legs. Step your left foot back, coming into runner's lunge. Activating both legs. So your front leg is nice and active, your glutes are strong. Your back leg is pretty straight, your quad is active. So your left leg and right leg are both Round it and strong, stabilizing you. Your hands have a little weight. Not, your weight's not primarily in your hands, it's primarily in your legs. Lift your heart forward, nice long spine. Feel that nice stretch in your hip flexor. Maybe move around in the runner's lunge a little bit back and forth here. Spreading out your right toes, keeping them rooted in the ground, up on the ball of your back foot. Shoulders relaxed and down. And step your left foot forward and step your right foot back, switching sides. Root down through that left foot, strong le left leg, strong right leg. So engage your glutes, engage your quads and both legs. Lighten the fingertips. Pull your belly in, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Keep that nice length in the spine. Your neck, remember, is an extension of your spine. So maybe tuck your chin if it's lifted to keep that length. Find movement if you found movement last time. Feel the stretch in your hip flexor. Maybe notice the difference on this side. And step your right foot forward to meet your left. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up overhead, sinking back into chair pose. This time in chair pose, we'll bring our hands to heart center, press your palms together, fingertip to fingertip, elbows in a line, and we'll twist our left elbow over our right knee, twisting to the right. So open your heart up towards the right, pressing your hands together. Gaze can be over to the right, maybe over your right shoulder. You want a little bit more twist. Sit your hips back and down so your hips are lower than your shoulders. Nice strong legs. Stay connected to your ujjayi breath. A nice textured breath in through your nose, out through your nose. And on your next inhale, come back to center and we'll twist over to the left. Hooking that right elbow, making sure your knees stay in a line. Gaze over to the left or over your left shoulder. Sit your hips back and down. Quads are really strong. It's okay if you're shaking. Glutes are active. Open your heart to the left side. That openness. One more inhale. One more exhale. And come back to center. Do forward fold. Step your left foot back, coming into runner's lunge. This time we'll take a twisted runner's lunge. So 
plant that left foot down, lift your right hand up. You can always just stay in runner's lunge if that feels better. So you can get a little twist here, opening the heart up again to the right. Stay strong and active in your legs. Then plant your right hand back down, step your left foot forward. And then step your right foot back, left foot stays forward. Strong in the legs, plant your right hand down. If you took a twist, lift that left arm up high to the sky. You can find length in your arms. Level out your hips, strong in the legs, twist in the back. Gaze up at that left thumb. Feel the openness of your heart towards the left side. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out. Plant your left hand down to frame your foot and step your right foot forward, forward fold. Then plant your hands in front on your mat. I'll turn. And then step your feet back, walk to the back of your mat, coming into downward facing dog. So find a lot of movement here in downward dog as you get settled in. Your hands are shoulder width, your pads of your fingers and your palms getting rooted into the earth. Roll your biceps in towards each other, long arms, let your head be heavy, lift your hips high, Pull your belly in, feet are hip width distance, you can bend one knee and then the other, press your heels towards the earth as you get settled in now, find some stillness in your downward dog. Hold here for a couple rounds of breath, that textured ujjayi breath, feeling it in the back of your throat. Belly's strong and pulled in. Your inhales match the length of your exhales. Lift your right leg up behind you, nice and straight and long. Flex your foot. Reach back and then bend your knee. Bring your right knee to your right tricep. And reach up and back, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, tuck it in. Get up high up there on that right tricep. Reach it back, getting warmed up one more time. Reach it in toward the right tricep. Back and up, three-legged dog. This time, bend your knee, bring it in, and plant it under your right hip. When it's planted, extend your left leg back behind you, coming into a balancing tabletop posture. So your right knee stacks under your right hip. Left leg back, nice and strong. Really straighten through that back leg. Flex your foot. And you can add your right arm, reaching it forward. So you're reaching opposite directions, hand and foot. Level your hips and engage your core here. We'll hold here for a few breaths. Keep that belly pulled in. You're working the back side of the body, strengthening the spine, strengthening your core. Good back health. Find that length and that energy flow through your fingertips, through your heels. And then plant your left, your right hand down, your left knee down. Lift your hips back, coming into downward facing dog. <coughs> One full breath here. <clears throat> Lift up your left leg, nice and long, three-legged dog. Reach your heel back and up, press your chest towards your thighs, flex your foot. Bend your knee, bring your left knee to your left tricep. Nice and high, reach forward and then extend back, three-legged dog. Again, bend your knee, left knee, left tricep. Shoulders coming over your wrist. Extend your left leg back and up, three-legged dog. One more time, tuck and round. Really get that knee nice and high on that left tricep, then reach it back. Feeling some heat now in the body. Then bring that left knee down, plant it under your left hip. Extend your right leg back. Find nice neutral spine, level your hips, and then reach your left arm forward. Finding length. Holding here for a few breaths. Notice the activation in your core and your glute. Lift that back, 
right leg a little bit more. Keep that back side active. So your hamstring, your glutes, your lats, and your back, your core. Reach forward with your fingertips for three, two, one. Plant your left hand down, right knee down. Tuck your toes and lift your knees off your mat so they're about an inch or two off the ground. And hovering here, engage your core, pull your belly in. Nice and strong core. Press the earth away, triceps wrapped towards each other. And lift your hips coming back into downward facing dog. Press your heart towards your thighs. So the length in your spine. Let's lift that right leg back up, reaching back and up. Level your hips. Bend your right knee, tuck your right knee to the right tricep. Three-legged dog, extend. Inhale, tuck it in, right knee, right tricep. And extend, back and up. One more time, right knee, right tricep. And extend back up. Plant your right knee down below your right hip. Bend your left leg back out. Nice and strong, level your hips. Gauge your core. You extend your right hand out in front of you. We'll pulse here for five, four, three, two, one. You can stay here or you can find a bind with your right hand and your inside of your left foot. And kick into that. Feel the activation if you find that bind in your glute, if you have your legs and arms still extended, feel the activation in the backside body. Getting a little back bend as you lift your arm and your leg or you kick into your hand and foot. For three, two, one. Without slingshotting your foot, gently release back the balancing tabletop, left leg back, right arm forward, and release to the mat. Send your hips back and up. Downward facing dog. One full breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Lift your left leg up and back. Extend, find some length. Press your heart towards your thigh. And then bend your left knee, left knee, left tricep. And extend it back, three-legged dog. Left knee, left tricep. One more time. Stand back and up, left knee, left tricep, get it high up there as you can, extend it back, then find your left knee under your left hip, bend your right leg back, neutralize your hips so they're parallel with your mat, neutral spine, extend your left arm out in front of you, reaching forward, and then we'll pulse for five, four, three, two, one. You can stay here, find that bind, grabbing the inside of your right foot with your left hand, kicking into that, or activate your leg if you're keeping your arm and leg straight, lift up, finding a gentle back bend. Opening up the heart, kicking in to your hand and foot. For three, two, one, gently release. Extend back out for just a breath and exhale back down on the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, coming back into downward facing dog. Hands, hip, hands and feet, both hip and shoulder width distance. Keep your head heavy. Shift forward onto the balls of your feet, coming into high plank. We'll hold here for a few breaths. So you're pressing the earth away, wrap your triceps. Maybe act like you're pressing, pushing your hands together to activate your chest a little bit. Maybe press your heels back, pull your toes forward to activate both the backside and the front side of your body. You guys look nice and strong. And then plant your left hand in front of your face. Roll your feet over to the left side of your mat. So your feet are in line and stack your hips. You can come down on to your left knee or you can stay up, but stack, try to stack your hips one on top of the other. So your right hand, hip is stacked on top of your left. Reach your arm up and over. Notice that alignment in your hips. Rainbow your hips, so your body's rainbowed, your hips are lifted. 
Come back to center, find your neutral spine, and plant your right hand in front of your face. Roll your heels towards the right side of your mat. Stack your hips. You can always come down on that right knee, but level your hips out. So your left hip is right on top of your right. Your left shoulder is right on top of your right shoulder. Hold here, rainbow the body, lift your hips up. Nice and strong, maybe gaze up at your left thumb, challenge your balance, gaze down at your right thumb, or it feels good on your neck. And come back to neutral. High push up. Come back into downward facing dog, lift your hip. And after you get into downward facing dog, slowly walk your feet forward, no rush. Just little steps forward. Coming to the top of your mat into forward fold. Forward fold, just let your head be heavy. And then find a halfway lift. So elongate the spine. Flat back. So your back is like a tabletop. Someone could have breakfast or lunch. Engage your core, belly's pulled in nice and strong. And then release forward fold over your legs. Bend your knees, circle stick your arms up overhead, reach up. And then identify your right arm. So if I identify your right arm, you're gonna circle sweep it under your left, crossing elbows, wrists, bringing palms to touch. You can always grab on opposite shoulders if that feels better. Lift your elbows to come in line with your shoulders, really squeeze your arms, sit your hips back, we'll come into eagle. So your weight's gonna come into your left foot, lift up your right foot. I know it's challenging on the grass. Maybe tucking that right toe behind your left calf. Sit your hips back and down. Find a drishti, really root down through that left foot. Pressing your thighs together, pressing your biceps together, shoulders back over your hips. And then from here, you can stay here in eagle, or you can lift your arms, lift your elbows, folding over your legs, coming into sleeping eagle. Finding a little more compression in the stomach here. And wherever you're at, if you're in eagle or sleeping eagle, we're gonna unwrap that right leg, sending it to the back of our mat, finding Ostrichandrasana or crescent lunge legs and eagle arms. So your left leg is forward, right leg is back around the ball of those left toes, root down through the left foot. Legs are nice and strong, belly's pulled in. Level your hips here. We'll find a couple of breath, breath to match our movement here. So lift your arms, lift your gaze, gentle back bend, eagle arms, and forward fold, exhale, over your knee. Inhale, rise, use your core, lift your heart, exhale, folding over, inhale, rising back up. Unravel your arms, have them come up. So now we're in Ostrichandrasana, crescent lunge. Reach up, relax your shoulders back and down. Nice strong legs, that stretch in your hip flexor. From here we'll move into warrior two. So you're gonna plant that right heel down at an angle, 45 degree angle. Arms come to a T. Really root down, maybe you find a little bit longer stance. Sink into your warrior, warrior two. So your left knee is over your left heel. You can see your left big toe. Arms are parallel, check that back arm. Get rooted down through that back edge of your right foot. Hold here, breathe. Core is active, body's engaged, nice and strong. Reaching fingers in opposite direction, gazing over your left fingertips. From here, we're gonna turn our left toes in. So toes in, heels out, coming into Prasarita Padottanasana. So wide leg goes forward, fold. Engage your core, fold over your legs. Find a clasp, the outside of your feet. Find a clasp on the outside of your ankles or calves. So get long in the spine. Engage your quads and pull your forehead towards the earth. Lift your hips. 
Get long in the spine. Use your biceps, pull a little bit more. Use some length, stay connected to your breath, pull your belly in. Maybe even engage that pelvic floor to find a little bit more, re more length in your spine and release in your lower back. Slowly release your grip, use your core, walk your hands back to frame your left foot, coming into Redder's Lunge. Be strong here, strong legs. Feel that nice stretch in that right hip flexor. And step your right foot forward to meet your left forward fold. Gently roll up one vertebrae at a time. Reach up towards the sky, arms up. Release your left hand down to your side. Right arm stays up and we'll come into dancer's pose. So you're gonna bend your left knee, find the inside of your left foot with your left hand. So you're not flipping your palm, keeping your palm open to the left. Reach up, level your hips, and then kick back into that left foot first before hinging forward. Kick, kicking back into that left hand where you can't kick anymore. Hinge forward, gazing over your right fingertips. Find your drishti, that focal point that helps you balance. If you fall out, Get back in, that's okay. It's a 50-50 kick and reach. Kick back into that hand. Nice, strong, active glutes, strong hamstrings. Reaching forward with your right hand. Kicking back into that left. One more inhale, one more exhale, and slowly release. Release that left foot down. Right arm comes down. Inhale, circle, sink your arms up and forward fold over your legs. Walk your feet back, coming into downward facing dog. Find a full breath here. Shift forward into high plank. We'll hold here for a couple breaths. And on this time, as we're in high plank, just to balance out the left side and the right side body. You can stay here, you can come down on your knees, or you can lift up your left foot to hover for five, four, three, two, one. That just creates a little bit more heat. So let your left toes back down, lift your right foot up, keep your foot flexed for five, press the earth away, four, Three, two, one. Release your right foot down. High plank. Press back in a downward facing dog. And slowly take that walk to the front of your mat. Little steps. Pull your belly in. Come into forward fold at the top of your mat. And bend your knees. Slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your arms up overhead. Time we'll identify the left arm, swing it under our right. Eagle arms. So you can also find opposite hands, opposite shoulders. That works. Press your hands together, press your arms, find that engagement in your biceps, your forearms really pressing them together. Sit your hips back. Weight comes into your left foot or your right foot as you lift your left leg up and over your right. And then maybe tuck that big toe behind your calf. Bring your arms and your knees back into the midline of your body. Sit your shoulders back over your hips. Sink a little bit lower. Find that drishti, focal point. Really squeeze tight, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then if you found sleeping eagle on the other side, lift your elbows, folding over, or you can stay in eagle. Wherever you're at, sleeping eagle or eagle, Unravel that left leg and send it back, coming into Asha Shadrasana legs. So you're on the ball of your back foot. Your right foot is planted, rising up. Shoulders stacked over your hips. Gaze your core, squeeze your arms. We'll find some breath with our movement here. So inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold over. Keep your belly pulled in, inhale. Lift the heart, squeeze the arms, find your balance, exhale, 
fold over. Nice long spine. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, folding over your right knee. Inhale, rising up. Release your arms up above your head, coming into crescent lunge. Sink deep into that right knee, up on the heel, up on the toes of your back foot. Really engage that back leg. Sometimes we forget about that activation there, but it's equally active as our front, just in a different way. From Asha Chandrasana with my warrior two, so you're gonna plant that back left heel, and arms come to a capital T. Maybe adjust your stance a little bit. You should be able to see your right big toe poking out over your right knee. Keep your hip open. So keep your right knee pressing out to keep that hip open. Arms are parallel. Check that back arm. Press down the outer edge of your left foot. Really get rooted down through your feet. You be active as if you're pulling your legs together. Your whole body is active here. Even your glutes, your core, stay strong. Sink a little bit deeper. Then turn your right toes in. Coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out. Activate your core, folding over your legs. This time on this side, let's bring our hands behind us, knitting our fingers together up to the webby and find a nice grip. Let your head be heavy, engage your quads as you let your hands, let your fists fall down towards the earth. Open up your shoulders. You can always find whatever variation works for you if you want to have that class. Let your head be heavy, pull in your belly, Engage your quads, engage your pelvic floor. Get long in the spine. Feel that length in your hamstrings, the openness in your heart, and your shoulders grow long through your thoracic spine. One more inhale, one more exhale. Bring your hands, keep them together, back to your lower back, and then bring them down to the ground. Walk your hands to frame your right foot coming into runner's lunge. Nice strong legs. Here for a breath. Find that stretch in your left hip flexor. Engage your right glute, left glute, long spine. And step your left foot forward to meet your right. Forward fold. Gently roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, circle, take your arms up overhead. Keep your left arm up. Your right hand comes down. Keep your palm open to the right side of your mat. As your weight comes into your left foot, then bend your right knee, grabbing the inside arch of your right foot. Level your hips, reach up, and kick back into that right foot. You can just stay here. Kicking back into that right foot might be enough, challenging your balance, especially on if you're outside on the grass. And then if you want, you can hinge forward. If you can't kick anymore, to 50-50 kick and reach. Please dancers pose. Gaze over those left fingertips. If you, get it, if you fall out, get back into it. Kicking back, strengthening the spine here. Opening up the heart. Little back bend. Kicking up. One more inhale. One more exhale. And slowly release. Place your right foot down. Inhale, circle, shift your arms up overhead. Forward fold over your legs. And walk your feet back, coming into downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out. Feel the pads of your fingertips in the earth. Press your heels towards the earth. Find some stillness. Next to your breath, nothing else, keep it simple. We shift forward back in the high plank and we'll plant our left hand in front of our nose. You can always come back down on your elbow, if that serves you better, or your left knee. Coming into side plank, so let your heels drop to the left. Lift your hips, reach your right arm up overhead. So your body is rainbowed. You're stacking your right hip on top of your left. If you want to lift your leg this time, 
So keep those hips lifted and stacked. For three, two, one. And then roll back into high push-up. High plank for a moment. And then plant that right hand in front of your nose. Let your heels drop over to the right. Stack your hips. Lift your left arm up. You can always come down on that right knee. Lift your hips. Engage your core. Stack your left hip on top of your right. Notice where your hips are. And if you lift it, that top leg, that the other side, try to lift it here, balancing it out for three, two, and one. Come back into high plank. Hold here for three. Press the mat away. Two, one, and lift your hips back into downward facing dog. Remember, downward facing dog, take that little slow, small step walk to the top of your mat. Coming into a forward fold. And bend your knees, inhale, circle sweep your arms up overhead. Identify your right arm, swing it under your left back into eagle. Squeeze your arms together. Sit your hips back. Weight comes into your right, your left foot. Lift your right leg up and over your left. Squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your arms together like you're a turkey. You're, you're squeezing all the toxins out of the body here. Compressing 14 major joints in the body. Really squeeze as hard as you can. If you found sleeping eagle, or you want to find sleeping eagle, lift your arms, exhale over your legs, or stay in eagle. Squeezing your arms, squeezing your legs together, find your drishti and your balance. Unwrap that right leg, send it to the back of your mat, nice and slow, don't rush. Coming into Asha Chandrasana legs. There you go, plant that right ball of your foot, strong right back leg, strong left leg. Eagle arms, squeeze those arms again. Finding our breath with our movement here. Inhale, reaching your heart up. Exhale, folding over. Inhale, through your nose, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, tucking around. Inhale, lifting up. Offer your heart, gentle back bend. Exhale, folding over. Inhale, rising back to center. Unravel your arms, lift them up over your head. Reach up, relax your shoulders. Be here for a breath and crescent lunge. Sink into that left knee, strong back leg. We'll find warrior two from here. So capital T the arms, drop your right heel back and down, 45 degree angle. Press through the outer edge of that right foot. Left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Activating your glutes, your shoulders are stacked over your hips. Arms are reaching in opposite direction, really strong, toning all the muscles in your biceps and triceps, gazing over your left fingertips. Sink a little bit lower. Hold here for just a breath. Your mind might want to get out of it. Just let your breath keep you here. You can stay in it. And then turn your left toes in. So toes in, heels out, engage your core, forward fold over your legs. Find that clasp on the outer edge of your feet, heels or calves. Let your head be heavy, gaze at the ground, engage your core, pull your belly in, lift your hips as you pull your forehead towards the earth. Weight is mostly in your toes and the ball of your feet right now, a little weight in your heels. Feel that length in your spine. Let it feel good. One more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly release. Activate your core and walk your hands back into runner's lunge. Your hands frame your left foot. Strong legs. Strong standing legs. Your both legs are strong here. Little to no weight in your hands. Nice long spine. Step your right foot to meet your left. Forward fold and inhale, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Circle sweep your arms up overhead. Keep your right hand up, left hand comes down. Find your weight in that right foot. Bend your left knee, 
find that clasp inside of your left foot on your shoelaces without flipping that left palm. Lengthen up, kick back into that left foot. Nice and strong. When you can't kick anymore, reach forward. Find your edge here. You've been here before. So kick and reach. Find your drishti to keep your balance. Strengthen your balance. Root it down through that right foot, kicking back into your left hand, your left foot, 50-50, kick and reach. One more inhale, one more exhale, and slowly release. Coming out, circle sweep your arms up overhead, bring your hands to touch, and forward fold over your legs. Walk your feet back to downward facing dog. Find a breath here. Lift your hips, let your head be heavy, let any tension out of your jaw. Full inhale, full exhale. Shift forward, back in the high plank. Press the earth away, wrap your triceps. Time, well, lift that right foot up off of the mat. If you want to, you can always come down to your knees. Find that balance that activates a little bit more in this plank here. I mean the activation in your glutes, in your backside body, that midline has to be strong and active here. Find that balance. Hold for three, two, one. Place your right foot down. Lift your left leg up and off. Activate that back leg, your hamstring, your glutes, nice and strong. Press the earth away. Notice your midline. Your body, if someone came and gave you a tap, you would stay strong. Hold for three, two, one. Plant your left toes back down. Lift your hips back up into downward facing dog. Walk your feet to the top of your mat, nice and slow. Feet together, heels touch forward, fold over your legs. Your head be heavy. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms, circle sweep up overhead. Identify your left arm. Swing it under your right. Crossing elbows, wrist. Sit your hips back, weight comes into your right foot. Lift up your left leg over your right. Tuck that back toe, sit your hips back and down. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Press your legs together. Squeeze your arms together. Really squeezing all those toxins out of your body. You found Sleeping Eagle, lift your arms, inhale, exhale forward, fold over your legs. Either you're an eagle or Sleeping Eagle, unravel that left leg, sending it back nice and slow. Crescent lunge legs, lifting your arms up, staying in eagle arms. Sink into that right knee, Plant that right foot, strong back leg. Be here, we'll find some breath to our movement. Inhale, lift up, gentle back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, fold over. Breathing out through your nose and in through your nose. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, folding over and inhale, rising up. Unravel your arms, reach them up to the sky. Long arms, re relax your shoulders back and down. Sink into that right knee. Left leg is strong and active. Pull your belly in. We'll find warrior two, T your arms. Drop that left back heel. Press through the outer edge of that left foot. Sink into that right knee. Right knee is stacked over your right heel. You can see that right big toe reach in opposite directions. Strong legs, strong glutes. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. We don't have mirrors here, so you really have to do that mental scan. Let your breath help you stay in the, in the asana, in the posture. Be here in this moment. Don't think of what's coming. Stay here in this spot. One more inhale, one more exhale. Turn your right toes in, so toes in, heels out. Engage your core, forward fold. 
Release your hands down in front of you. Then bring them back for a little shoulder rinse. Interlace your fingers up to the webbing. Let your head be heavy. Let your hands fall to the earth behind you. Really letting your shoulders relax, your head relax. Engage your quads. Notice how that changes the asana. Your weight is in your toes and the balls of your feet. Your heels are kind of just hovering. Nice long spine. Activate your pelvic floor. Activate your quads. Releasing your lower back. Getting a little bit more length in your spine. Opening your heart. Opening up your thoracic spine here. Listen to your breath. Bring your hands back down to your lower back and then release them to the ground. Engage your core, walk your hands to frame your right foot. A runner's lunge. Really root down through that right foot, ball of your left foot, strong legs. Your left quad is strong, glutes are strong. Feel that nice stretch here. And then step your left foot forward to meet your right. Forward fold, let your head be heavy. Bend your knees, circle sweep your arms up overhead. And bring your, bring your right arm down, left arm stays up. Weight comes into your left foot as you bend your right knee. Grab the inside edge of that right foot. Your fingertips are on the top of your feet where your shoelaces are. Reach up, find length, kick back into your right foot. So find that balance, find your drishti, gaze forward. You can open up your hips here, keep them level. Just notice what your body wants to do and what feels good. Really find your balance, 50-50 kick and reach. Find your edge, so kick back. Don't be afraid to fall. Just notice what you notice. Breathe here, kicking strong back body. Notice your glutes active, your quads active, really strong. One more inhale, one more exhale, and slowly release, feet come together. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up overhead, and forward fold over your legs, bowing to the earth. Let your head be heavy. Stop, and then pat your hands, walk your feet back, coming into high push-up position. Hold here just for a count of three, two, one and slowly lower the chaturanga but we'll come all the way down onto our stomach keep your hands at push-up position so we'll come into a few cobras here so your legs are together you press your tops of your feet into the mat engage your quads so your kneecaps lift squeeze your elbows together like your cricket wings peel your heart up off of the earth for a few breaths, lifting on the inhale, breathing into the posture, strong back body, strong glutes, strong lats. See if you can get one more rib up off of the earth and exhale, release. Stay here for a breath. We'll find a second set. Feet together, pressing into the earth, quads active, kneecaps lift, feel your heart up. Squeeze your arms together. Shift your gaze. You can get one more rib up off of the earth. One more inhale. One more exhale. And lower. And we'll roll over onto our backs. Give yourself a squeeze. Bring your knees to your chest. And let your feet fall on the mat. So they're parallel to one another, parallel to the edge of your mat, like they're on railroad tracks. And then scoot them up so that you can feel your heels with your fingertips. And we'll take two sets of bridge. If you want to take wheel, if that's in your practice, you can find two sets of wheel or two sets of bridge. And I'll take two sets of bridge. So yogi's choice, whatever serves you today. So inhale. Exhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. When you get your hips up, roll your shoulders underneath your back. So 
open up your heart a little bit more. Press your heart towards your chin and then find a clasp of your hands behind your back if you're in bridge. Lifting your hips a little bit higher, press your feet into the earth. Notice that nice open heart. Notice the strength in your quads, your hamstrings and your glutes. Lifting up a little bit higher here for three, two, one, and slowly lower one vertebrae at a time. Back down, releasing your clasp. Windshield wipe your legs side to side. Neutralize the spine. We'll take a second set. Bring your feet back up so you can tickle them with your fingertips. If you want to find wheel, hands come underneath your shoulders. If you're finding a bridge, inhale, lift up your hips, squeeze your glutes, press your heart towards your chin, and then find that clasp underneath possibly your body as you roll your shoulders underneath your back a little bit more. Open up your heart, lifting up. We'll hold here for five breaths. So when you're finished with five full breaths, meet me on your back. Just hold here, find those breaths. If you're in wheel, lifting your hips up, bridge, squeezing your glutes, opening your heart towards the front of your mat. Stay connected to the breath. Your long inhales and exhales, your life force. And that last breath, let your hips sink one vertebrae at a time. Windshield wiper your legs side to side. And bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then find your hands on your knees or underneath your knees. You can gently rock and roll, massaging the spine. Feels good with some bumps on the grass here. And then find your way up into a seated, seated position. And then we'll straddle the legs out, coming into a straddle. So open up your knees to the sky. So don't let your knees collapse in. Let your knees shine towards the sky or the ceiling. Flex your toes, flex your feet towards your knees. And then inhale your arms up overhead, get long in the spine and slowly pull your belly in as you forward fold. Keeping a long spine, just letting your hands come down first. Maintaining that long spine, roll your shoulders back and down, keeping them relaxed, opening up your heart towards the front of your fold here. Finding that length here, keeping your knees and your feet towards the sky, or your toes and knees towards the sky. And then if you want to walk your hands a little bit out more as you breathe into the stretch, utilize your breath to get a little bit deeper. We move around a little bit, pulse up and down. And then you can let your forearms rest on the mat, maybe tucking around your chin, find a few breaths here. Just nice forward fold, stretching out our hamstrings, inner thighs, inner hips, lengthening our spine. Stay connected to your breath. Deep inhales through the nose and exhales out. Two more full breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. Finding space in the inhale and maybe a little bit more depth in the exhale. And slowly walk your hands back up. Inhale your arms up overhead. Turn towards your right foot, so your shoulders are framing your right foot, and then fold over, bringing your hands down on both sides of your legs. Now here, if you want to find a forehead to knee connection, you can always bend your knee. That might feel good to find that connection. You can walk your hands out, find a clasp underneath your arch of your foot, pull your head down. Find the stretch that feels good to you and stay connected to your inhales and your exhales through your nose and out your nose. And here in the stretch, in this moment, 
Notice how your body feels. Listen to your breath. I read a quote this week that said, there is a lot of wisdom in a long, deep breath. That's so true, so helpful, so calming. Use that inhale, use that exhale. Inhale, rising up, reach up, we'll turn to the left foot, flex your foot, fold over that left leg, arms come down. If you found that forehead's knee connection, you can always bend your knee. Don't worry about keeping your legs straight. Keep your foot flexed though. Find that length in the back of your calf and your Achilles. Flexing your foot, strengthening your foot and your arch. Stay connected to your breath. Keep that right sit bone down, grounded in the earth. Inhaling and exhaling. Finding space in the inhale. Exhaling, releasing, finding a little bit more length. Two more full breaths. In through the nose. And out through the nose wisdom breath that knows, that helps you be here, connecting to the moment, listening to your body. And inhale, back up to center, release your hands to your side, bring your feet together, do a forward fold, so flex your feet again, engage your quads, so your quads are active here too. Lift your heart up, engage your belly, so your navel's pulled in, inhale your arms up overhead, reaching up to the sky, Chin away from your chest, shoulders away from your ears, forward fold over your legs. Maybe finding your hands on your shins, on the ground, what feels good here. Try to keep a long spine so you're gazing up over the edge of your feet, the horizon of your toes. Keep a nice strong spine. So if you're looking up, bring your chin down so it's an extension of your spine. Your spine is nice and long. Keep your quads active as you fold over. Stay connected to your breath feel good. Notice the length in your hamstrings, how your body feels now compared to at the beginning. Inhale and exhale. Be having your peace fingers right in your big toe. Maybe finding a little bit of movement in the forward fold might feel good or pulsing gently. But stay connected to your breath wherever you're at. Two more breaths, two more inhales and two more exhales. Through the nose and out the nose. Release any tension in the jaw, in the forehead, in your neck. And on your next inhale, slowly rising up, arms reach up and down to your side. And then slowly lower, I'm moving around on my mat a little bit, the camera here and then slowly lower down, reaching your arms towards your toes, engaging your core as you find your way onto your back, nice and slow, no rush. Just notice the transition. Contact your lumbar spine, then your thoracic spine, shoulders, cervical spine, coming down onto the mat. And bend your knees. Stacking your knees over your hips will take a spinal, spinal twist. So your knees are stacked over your hips, spine is neutral. Tee your arms out to the side and let your legs fall to the right. All the way to the earth. And then you can use your right arm to weight down your knees a little bit, help deepen the stretch. Gaze over your left shoulder. Try to keep your shoulders in contact with the mat your knees make contact with the earth. Let everything be heavy. Stay connected to the breath, resetting the spine. You can always extend that top leg if you want a little bit more of a stretch in your IT band or your glute. Listening to the sounds around you, being present in this lovely moment, in this lovely day. Finding gratitude for this body. Final 
up this silk thread. And then engage your core, bringing your knees, stacking them back over your hips. Let them fall over to the left. You can use your left hand to weight down your knees towards the earth. Keep your hands extended out and arms extended out in a T. Turn your gaze over to your right fingertips. Breathing in, down the length of your spine. Feel the breath travel from your top of the spine all the way down the midline to the base of your spine. And as you exhale, back up. Just let your breath feel good. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Take any tension out of your jaw. You straighten that other leg on the other side, the top leg, you can extend it out. If you're grabbing two fingers your right toe, your left arm. Find what feels good for you in this place. Continue studying the spine. This theme helps the back, it helps digestion, helps reset the central nervous system. One more inhale. One more exhale, use your core, coming back to center, release your legs long on the mat, coming into your final Shavasana. Take up some space, toes pointing out to the edge of your mat. Notice the points of contact with the backs of your body against the earth, against the ground. The front side of your body is open. Come back to your natural breath. Close down your eyes. Relax your fingers. Your shoulders relax away from your ears. Let go of any tension in your jaw. Put space between your eyebrows. walk you out of your shavasana so enjoy this time let your cells absorb all the things that you practiced today and find stillness Just notice your breath. Maybe you elongate your inhales again, your exhales. Do you notice the sounds around you? Notice your thoughts. Just let them pass by. You don't need to hold on to them right now. Just notice them. Maybe gently move your fingertips and your toes, circling your ankles, circling your wrists, rolling your head side to side, and take one long stretch with the body, full body yawn, reaching your feet towards the bottom of your mat, your arms up overhead, breathe in deep, exhale deep, and you can find your way to a seated position, either roll to your right side or left, or roll up into easy seated position, the top of your mat. Take your time. You close down your eyes. Inhale, circle sweep your arms up overhead, bringing your palms to touch. Bring your thumbs to your third eye center. Always come back to truth and love your thoughts. Bring your thumbs to your mouth. May the words and the things that 
come forth from us. Be rooted in love and kindness. Bring your hands to your heart. Lift your heart towards your thumbs. May you be connected to who you are, who you're created to be, and deeply connected to the one within. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you.